A Nancy's Party Time by Eric A. Kimmel, illustrated by Janet Stevens. Ooh, it looks like a Nancy is remembering the last story where Turtle ate all the fish and Turtle rested. Hmm. Turtle and Anansi went fishing together. Turtle played a trick on Anansi. Anansi did not forget. He waited a long time to get even. Months later, long after Turtle had forgotten about the trick, a letter from Anansi appeared in his mailbox. The letter said, Dear Turtle, I'm having a party. You're invited. Here's a map so you'll know how to get to my house. Don't be late. Love, Anansi. Here's Anansi's party. Here's Turtle's house. Here's a map of how to get to his house. Turtle moves very slowly. It takes a long time for him to get anywhere. He started out early. He followed the map all the way to Anansi's house. Knock, knock, knock. Turtle knocked on Anansi's door. I'm here, Turtle said. What took you so long, Anansi asked. Where is your costume? I didn't know it was a costume party, said Turtle. You know now, go home and get a costume. And Nancy slammed the door. Turtle went home. It took him a long time to get there. It took him a long time to choose a costume. It took him a long time to walk back to Anansi's house. Knock, knock, knock. Turtle knocked on the door. Hippity hop, Turtle said when Anansi opened it. Hippity hop, guess what I am? You're a silly looking turtle pretending to be a bunny, Anansi said. Where's your dish? What dish? asked Turtle. I told everyone to bring a dish, Anansi said. You didn't tell me, said Turtle. I just did. You need a dish. Go home and get one. Anansi slammed the door. Turtle went home again. It took him a long time. It took him a long time to choose a dish. He carried it back to Anansi's house. Knock, knock, knock. Turtle knocked on the door. I brought a dish, can I come in? Turtle asked Anansi. Anansi looked at Turtle's dish. Don't you know anything, Turtle? Bring a dish means bring something for everyone to eat. Nobody can eat that plate. Go home and put something on it. Turtle turned around and went home again. He found his favorite recipe, chocolate turtles. When the chocolate turtles cooled, he put them on the dish and carried them back to Anansi's house. Knock, knock, knock. Turtle knocked on the door. Look, Anansi, I have a costume. I have a dish. I made chocolate turtles. Can I come to the party now? The party's over. Everybody went home, Anansi said. But thank you for the chocolate turtles. They look delicious. I'll eat them tomorrow. Anansi slammed the door. Turtle heard him laughing on the other side. Hee hee hee, poor turtle, what a doofus. I've been tricked, said Turtle. 
A few days later, a letter from Turtle appeared in a Nancy's mailbox. Dear Nancy, I'm having a party and you're invited. Here's a map to my house. Don't wear a costume. Don't bring a dish. Be ready to have lots of fun. Don't be late. Love, Turtle. Hooray, a party, and Nancy exclaimed. On the day of the party, he set out for Turtle's house. He followed the map to the river. Turtle's house is underwater. I will have to swim. And Nancy took a deep breath and jumped into the river. Sploosh, he went to the bottom. Foom, he floated up to the top. I forgot that spiders float, said a Nancy. How can I get to Turtle's party if I can't get to the bottom of the river? Just then he saw Crab walking by. Hello, Crab, said a Nancy. Are you going to Turtle's party? You bet, Crab said. Everybody's going. Can I ride on your back? asked Nancy. Get on, hold tight. To my shell, and Nancy climbed onto Crab's back. He held onto the points of Crab's shell with all eight legs. Soon they arrived at Turtle's house. Turtle opened the door. Hello, Crab. Hello, Nancy. The party's just starting. Everybody was having fun. Crab waved to his friends, and Nancy didn't wave to anybody. I'm holding tight to Crab so I don't float, he explained. Would you like some punch? asked Otter. Sure, said Crab. Not for me, said Nancy, I'm holding on. How about cake and ice cream? asked Hippo. Nope, said Nancy, I'm holding on. Can I have it? asked Crab. He ate two portions of cake and ice cream, his own and Nancy's. This party sure is fun, said Crab. Fooey, said Nancy. This party wasn't fun for him. He couldn't drink punch. He couldn't eat cake or ice cream. He couldn't even wave to his friends. All he could do was hold on. Attention everybody, said Turtle. Let's play mystery animal. I'm thinking of an animal who's here at the party. Whoever guesses it wins a prize. Ooh, ooh, I'm great at games. I'm hoping to win, said Crab. Be quiet so I can hear the clues, Nancy said. Turtle read the first clue. Clue number one. The mystery animal is very small. Ooh, ooh, I know, said Crocodile. It's me. I was small when I was a baby. But you're not small now, Nancy said. Next clue. Number two, said Turtle. The mystery animal is very clever. Ooh, ooh, that's me, yelled Hippo. I'm clever. No way, said Nancy. You're not small either. Are there any more clues? Last one, said Turtle. The mystery animal spins a web. Ooh, ooh, I know, Nancy shouted. It's me. That's right, said Turtle, and Nancy wins the prize. Eight balloons. Oh no, yelled Nancy. I don't want balloons. They'll make me float. I'll take them, said Crab, holding out his claw. Foom, up, up they 
went up through the water. Up through the air, up through the sky, until they came to the moon. The balloons went pop, and Nancy and Crab floated down to the moon. Crab looked at the blue earth far below. How will we get back? He asked. Don't worry, I always think of something, said Nancy. On nights when the moon is full, you may look up and see shapes on the moon's surface. Some say it's a crab. Some say it's a spider. Will a Nancy and crab ever get back? What do you think?